What's going on guys, it's Coach Colin here, coolest high performance coach in the world, and if you want the absolute best insights of the podcast you love, hit that subscribe button, smash, smash. All right, we're going, uh, we're still at 1730, Joe Rogan Podcast. This is another one that's about that crab in the bucket mentality. I love what Cameron's about to say because I've experienced it so much and I know you have as well and you don't even realize it and the people who are doing it to you don't even realize it as well and I I have a absolute I shouldn't say that but I have a theory on why we do this to each other because I do it to people too and I don't even realize it when I do but I, I'm pretty sure from thinking about this I understand why let's get into it it's so here's this here's a struggle that i i even face because there's so many people who will say um you should take a day off you should get some rest sleep is important there's al always this like to do less and right. so then i don't know is it them wanting me to do less so they feel better or do they really care about me or you know so because that's why i love people like goggins right you know, so I focus on people like that, not the people who are telling me, hey, you need to, you know, you're, you're wearing your body down or you're doing this or that because there's always those people and I never know what, they're, what the objective is. I think they think they're right and I think a lot of them, they're trying to give you good advice. They're worried you're going to have a heart attack and die. Yeah, why are they worried about me? Well, because they see a guy like you that's you, you're putting out so much more effort than them. They don't think it's possible su to sustain it. Yeah, maybe so. Yeah. But if you look at the Donaher death squad, like the elite yes. jujitsu squad in the world, Gordon Ryan, I love Gary Tonin, all those guys, those motherfuckers take zero days off. Zero. Yeah. 365 days a year. And if you want to be on that squad, you want to be competing in mm -hmm. the world stage and representing John Donaher, there's no vacations. Yeah. There's no I love days that. Off. I mean, Christmas. Yeah, no Christmas. Yeah, and it's like if if they did go hard, the next day it's not an off day. They just go a little lighter. They the just next do day. technique. Yeah, but they're training still. Yeah, they're still getting better. So they're to me yeah. that that that's you flip that switch and it's like you I don't know you know mentally you're like no I'm still I'm still doing it still grinding. I do something. Joe Rogan's about to say, I do something hard every single day. That's what he's about to say, because I've listened to this podcast five times. Um, <laughs> um, so the, what he was talking about, about people saying to him, you know, you should take a day off. You should you should get some rest. Sleep so important. Everything like that. Now, here's what I compare it to. Right. If somebody looked at me like him and said, you think I should take a day off? And he like runs and exercises because I'm really into running, really into exercise. Um, I would look at him and be like, no, why? Like, why do you, do you feel you feel messed up? Like, what's the problem? He'd be like, no, I'd be like, well, then just keep going. That would be me. Right now. If you took somebody, like if I, if I meet somebody and they're like, I study, I actually had a client like this. They're like, I study seven days a week. He's in, uh, in university. He's like, I, and he's taking like aerospace or some, like some wild stuff like that. And he's like, I study seven days a week. And I didn't say it to him, but in my mind, if you show me somebody like that, I'm going to look at them and say, yo, you should take two days off a week from studying three days off. Even like you study this guy's talking, I'm talking about three hours a day, every single day. So for me, I look at that and I say, you should take days off. Now, why do I do that to him? Like, why do I have that notion in my mind? It's because I'm not academic. I dro <laughs> like I'm, I dropped out of high school. I like went back to college as like a mature student. Like I, I failed grade seven and eight. I was like, I was a terrible student. Terrible, terrible. I never got held back. It was just bad. Like my, my whole school career is just bad. Um, but I'm not an academic. So when I hear somebody like that, I think in my mind, applying it to me, because that's what we do, we think from our, from our own perspective, I say that's way too much, right? Now me, I run, I tend to run, like I haven't in a while, I call myself out, but I tend to run 10 to 25 miles a week. When someone who doesn't run hears me say that, they go, why would you punish your body like that? 
I actually had somebody message me and say that. They're like, why are you putting yourself through this punishment? And I was like, what are you talking about? Why? Why to the academic question? Why to the person who thinks that I'm punishing myself? It's because they, even to, to me, to the academic question, I haven't conditioned myself. I haven't conditioned myself to that point where I could study for seven days a week, three hours a day. I don't have that type of conditioning. That guy who thinks I'm punishing myself when I'm running that much, he, he has not even close to conditioning himself to the extent that I've conditioned myself. That's why we do that to people. That's why when we hear certain things, that's why when you when somebody hears that you want to start a business or you want to go into something that you've always wanted to do, they're not conditioned for that. They've never followed their dream. Go to somebody who's followed their dream and is, is successful in it and tell them you're thinking about following their dream, your dream. They're going to go, oh, yeah, oh, of course, of course, go follow your dream. Yeah, yeah. Can I help in any way? This is what I did because they're conditioned to that. They get it. You know what I mean? You go to me and you say you want to run 100 miles. I'm going to be like, Jesus, like that's that's a lot. You go to David Goggins and say you want to run 100 miles. He's going to be like, wow, have fun, man. Go get after it. I'm going to run 100 miles right now. Want to come? That's what's going to happen. You tell Joe Rogan that you want to start a podcast. He's going to go, huh, cool. You should. What are you going to talk about? You go to somebody who's never started a podcast before and you tell them that. They're going to be like, wow, that's kind of risky. I don't know. I don't know if that's going to work. I don't know. I'm, that's pretty hard. They're just not conditioned. We're not conditioned they're not conditioned to the point to where they think that your behavior, whatever that might be, is normal. You know? Go to somebody who never smokes weed and tell them that you smoke weed every day. They're going to be like, geez, why? Whoa, why? Why do you, how? How do you even do that? How do you stay alive? Right? Go to a weed smoker who smokes 10 blunts a day and you're like, <laughs> and, and tell them that you plan on smoking weed every day. They're going to be like, cool, man. You want to start now? You know what I mean? It's like it's all about the conditioning that you have. And more so when it comes to what you're doing, the people that you have around you. If you have, a, if you are trying to, and I always go to following your dream because that's what I want people to do. But if you're thinking of starting a business and you're around a bunch of people who have always worked in factories and you tell them about it, you're not going to be celebrated you are going to be pulled back down because all they know is the factory. They're going to be like, no, 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 you should just come and maybe be a supervisor. You know, a supervisor makes just as much money as you should just, they don't, they're not conditioned for it. Now you take that same dream and you bring it around a bunch of business owners. They're going to be like, yeah, that's viable. I know three guys that do that. There was a guy in my comment section who was like, I, I wish I could be a photographer. He wanted to get into photography and he thought it was like a long shot. And I was like, man, I know two people who used to just work and now they're full-time photographers. Like I know two people. I probably know more if I look into my whole, my whole uh, contact list. I know so many people who are photographers. None of them were just born photographers. They just took the steps and they did the thing. So in my mind, it's completely normal. In his mind, he's like, that's a long shot. The people who you have around you, that is... That is, in, in some instances, that is the deciding factor in the success you're going to have in whatever endeavor you're trying to get into. That's why it's so important that when you're trying to, to when, you, when you're taking on a new habit or a new way of being, it's so important to get into a community that's doing that. You know, when I, when I started, like for me, you know, and whatever you believe is cool, like when I started praying to God, I didn't hang around people who were atheists. I went and joined a Christian men's group. Like, yeah, of course I did. I started going to church. Yeah, of course I did. Because that's the community I need to be around in order to solidify that habit, to grow that habit. Like, you got to do the same thing with whatever it is that you're trying to do. You want to be a photographer? If you don't know any, join a bunch of photography groups on Facebook. Find people in your area who are photographers. Find that guy that you went to school with who's a photographer now and just message him and be like, hey, man. And just start hanging around those people. Let that stuff rub off on you. Let that iron sharpen your iron. That's what you need. That's the thing that came to me as I was hearing this. And I, as soon as I applied it to myself in terms of academics, it all made sense. Like, 
I'm just not an academic person. You tell me that you're going to school for a double PhD. I'm going to be like, what the hell are you talking about? I'm going to look at you and say, you should just put that energy into starting a business. That's what I think you should do. Or like, you're a really good storyteller. Why don't you just jump on YouTube or start a podcast or something? Because that's what I'm conditioned for. I got all this stuff in my house. Of course, of course, I'm going to think that you should start a podcast. That's what I do. I love it. Right? Ah, <sighs> man. So the people I'm getting, I'm getting too excited. I got to calm down. But the people who you're around are the, are the thing. That's the thing. You're, 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 you're the match. The people who you're around are that, that brown strip that you strike the match on. <laughs> good analogy, right? Yeah, good. <laughs> the, but that, that's the, the, those are the people that you rub up against. Oh, it is a good analogy. Those are the people that you rub up against. If you're a match and you're hanging around water, what what are you going to do? What are you going to do hanging around water as a match? You're not going to light up. Go and get with those people, that, that brown strip, and watch what happens. If you're ice, don't hang around fire. <laughs> I'm good with analogies, okay? All right? I must, I must hang around. I need to hang around writers. That's what I need to do. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? Like the people, it's the people who you're around because they, they'll, they'll celebrate you. They'll infuse you with the confidence that you need. They'll push you again to that saying that I just said, their iron will sharpen your iron. So yeah, again, episode 1730 with Cameron Haynes. This is a banger of a podcast i'm telling you man you guys should be listening to this and if you don't want to it's cool because i've already done how many clips on it you can go to the page and and, and listen to the clips that i've done but you're going to hear a lot of me talking too because i get excited when these guys are together um other than that subscribe and i'm out peace <laughs>